Howdy, welcome back. I'm going to talk a little bit about bowling now. Um, I figure the best place to start, because uh, the last one I, I did was, on bowling was, was more or less a preview of, of the kinds of things I want to cover. The, the kind of things I want to do today just start with more along the preparation end, and that is the kinds of exercises that you can do that are going to help you um, in the sport. And, I, and I'll kind of go, go through kind of a sequence of what you want to do. And some of them may surprise you. Some of them are going to be like, well, duh. Um, but there's, there, there's, you know, there's going to be a basic level to this. So if you're, you know, well beyond the basic, then, then this will just be a review. Where you really want to start is you want to strengthen both your upper body and your lower body, but there's specific there's specific areas that you don't have to worry about. Like your tries, you don't really have to worry about that. Your delts, no, you know. So you you want to look at things like your fingers. Let's start there. So get a nice stress ball and do sets of these because when you're coming through the ball. You want to get that finger lift up out of the ball. That's what gets you that rotation. Um, helps you project the ball, excuse me, down the down the lane a little bit. Okay, so that's that's a big one. Number two, your wrists. Okay, wrists are huge. You want to get in onto the ball at release, particularly. You don't really want to to have a wrist that in the backswing. You go to the backswing and it collapses. Okay, there is a technique when you're doing cross lane spares where you want to break the wrist um, and, and keep it and keep it slight because that'll that'll kill the that'll kill the roll on the ball and it'll it'll skid all the way down the lane. Um, that's how you kill your hook, especially if you're using uh, reactive equipment. You would have to. Some people just use a plastic spare ball, and that works pretty well. Um, but you want to work on your wrists. So that second section with your wrists, you want to use a small dumbbell. And what you'll do, and I'll kind of stand up with this, what you'll kind of do with your dumbbell is you'll hold it in your, in your hand and then bring it down to the end of your fingers. And as you do a curl, close it up. Open. Close. This will really help your forearms, and it'll help your wrists, and it also it's it's replicatable to to a bowling delivery, to a bowling release, particularly the the, the last half of the of the arm swing. So um, that's very important. Number three, I would say you need to work on your arms. So you can do curls, you can do you can do benches, work on your chest a little bit. You need a little bit of that. Um, you can do um, cable work. You, know, you can do cables, pull downs, right? Or you can do the this way, right? Those are things that are that are very beneficial, uh, particularly on the bowling side. Now the, the four and five are going to be more lower. Okay, you want to work on your core. So I like planks where you get into push up position. You get up. And you lay on this this end of your of your arms on your forearms. Stay a minute two, and really really hit them. You want to do some crunches, particularly on a medicine ball or something of that nature. You can do medicine ball work as well. You know where you th you basically have your legs up, but you're doing this with the medicine ball. And between those three exercises, that should really really help your you know, because setups really are antiquated. They don't really, they're not really going to give you what you need. But when I do, when I do the crunches on the ball, I'll actually have hand weights. Uh, you can put 10s, 20s, you can do 30, you can put 50s in there if you want to. Um, and really, really work the core, work the abs. Um, and then fifth, legs. You really need deep knee bend and drive. So what you really need to do is work anything that works the glutes and works the legs. So you want to do lunges. 
But what you want to do is you want to take hand weights, and when you lunge, you want to, you know, a nice deep lunge. You want to put the weights out over your knees, and you want to bring them back. And then as you go out, put them up, put them out in front, down and front, and that puts a little more pressure on the lunge, and it gives you a little bit more oomph to the exercise. Um, another thing you might want to do. And I do these, and it works for other sports as well. Is I'll take I'll take the weights, put put them to my chest, and I'll do almost like getting into a jump shot, and I'll just jump um, off my toes as high as I can. And I'll do sets of fifty or a hundred um, of those with weights on my on my chest. Or you can also use a, a weighted vest if you have one. But if you don't, most people don't. You just use a you use a couple of dumbbells. Um, that should really help you. Um, anything that helps you with driving off your feet, driving off that back leg, that's going to get you that slide at the end. It's going to get you that nice, um, it's going to give you that nicer timing, but it's also going to give you leverage. Now leverage gets that ball out on the lane, it gets the nice rotation and, and, and really gives you a nice predictable crisp delivery that's going to give you a nice, you know, you're going to be able to project where the ball is going to be on the lane. You need to know where that break point is. Um, you know, when you when you get to where you're an intermediate or a, or a, or an advanced bowler. So these these are the exercises that will take you uh, from beginner to the um, I would say intermediate, maybe even further. But this is the stuff that you really need to work on. There's there's other exercises you can always do. They really don't help you from a bowling perspective. So I wanted to start with those. So whether it's the fingers, the arms, the fingers, the wrists, the arms, the core, the legs, there's a little bit of everything, and it will help you out in the game of bowling. All right? Hope it's helpful. Please like, share, like, subscribe, comment, share, because sharing is caring. And I'll be back again real soon um, to start talking a little bit more about equipment, I believe, is the next one. All right? Peace out, me homies. See ya.